Hello everyone, I am joined by Rick Savrud. Now, Rick, I've read a story about you on Poker News a while ago. Um, my buddy Chad Holloway told me you have this incredible story that comes from a deep, deep root in the game, loving, loving poker. So, first off, give give everyone a little, a little history. Tell us what makes your story so interesting. Well, I have uh, stage four cancer. Um, I also have uh, a pretty serious case of neuropathy and diabetes. So. Uh, physically, it's a challenge for me every day uh, to just do normal things. Um, so poker kind of is a very normal thing. You can sit down, you know, long hours and play. Uh, so I enjoy poker. I used to do a lot of hunting and fishing type stuff. Um, but now, you know, I stay away from a lot of the physical stuff. I, I try to exercise when I can. Um, but poker is one of those things that, uh, you know, allows me uh, to sit and play for long hours. And so. Well, it's interesting because actually, um, you know, you're not alone. I've done quite a few interviews with people who say, um, one girl I interviewed recently had a, a bicycle accident, like a motorcycle accident, mm. was stuck in bed. We've got the Doyle story with his leg. And yeah. a lot of people discover poker in their injuries, but you had a love for poker before, right? Yeah, exactly. I, I started, like everybody else, really in the, at the moneymaker uh, phase um, and then I really started getting interested uh, when I started noticing all these normal more normal people just like me winning these big tournaments on a lot of money so I think we all like money <laughs> especially me so I've uh, you know kind of been chasing chasing the dream I, I still don't have like a any major wins uh, I do tend to cash more than normal I think sometimes I have a lot of caches and uh, it's a good thing, uh, but just not that big one yet. And I'm really, really trying, you know, I, I, I study poker a lot. I, I dedicate almost all of my time to it, you know, really. You know, it's like one of those things where I'm always like watching poker on TV or something if I'm not watching a movie or the news, so. Yeah. Well, if you're going to win one, if you're going to save your Ooh. win for one, this is the one. And in okay. fact, you, I think this was meant to be, right? Because yeah. you actually won your, your yeah. main event seat, exactly. sort of just tell everyone how this went down. Well, I, I play at Baraboo, Wisconsin. Shout out to Ho-Chunk. Uh, you know, they have a, a high limit room there where they uh, for uh, slots. And ever so often, like on breaks and stuff, when I need to stretch my legs, I go and I sit and play a little slots. I was up a little bit, and then I decided that I was going to cash out, and I played like two more spins, and I hit $10,000 uh, on the machine. Just the what thing. you need. And actually, believe it or not, that's the third one I've hit this year. Stop. I didn't tell Sean that originally, but that this is the third one I've hit this year. I don't know what it is. You're living right. And the guys in the high limit room are just like, they can't, they're just like, you're amazing. What is going on? And I just can't figure it out either. Um, you know, so, but I'll take it, and I'm going to try and run it up. I mean, and run it up. especially this close to the main <laughs> event, when you win 10K, I yeah, feel like close, right? the universe is nudging you. You need to go. Yeah. So you doubled up already today. It was funny. I talked to Chad um, the first day that you played, and he said that you had, you know, lost a few pots, which mm -hmm. happens, you yeah. know, in the beginning of a tournament. Oh, and tough. it's hard to keep your, keep your mind right, but clearly yeah. you did. So talk us through a little bit about what's going on now. Yeah, so... Um I have I have 123,000 in chips, which is pretty darn good, I think, at this level, this point. Um, I had, you know, like, at the, well, day one, it was just a lot of ups and downs. Uh, I actually had flushes three times, and I was beat, beaten by higher flushes. I don't know how I didn't go broke, because I had a really good couple of hands that were uh, really good flushes, but they had uh, higher, you know, aces and kings flushes, and I just... Uh, but I withstood the storm, I went all in, I got lucky one time, I had bucket queens, I hit a queen on the flop, and the guy had aces, and I got lucky. But, you know, I think That's we all get reason. lucky maybe, you know, a hundred times during this tournament, so, yeah, so. Well, I can't even imagine how tiring and exhausting these days must be for yeah. you. I mean, I know we're sitting, but <laughs> there's a lot of a lot of thinking going on, and yeah. also even sitting all day yeah. can be tough. So, are you you're just pulling pulling your inspiration and just pushing through? Yeah, it really is. I'm I'm doing this, you know, like a lot of it, this is just so cliche, but I'm doing it for the little guy. <laughs> I've got all my friends back at uh, you know that are going to watch this back home and. You know, and I know they're rooting for me, and it's just my little click, and, uh, you know, hey, uh, it's a shot at, what, eight, over eight million? So, but, you know, I, I'm keeping it real. 
keeping it definitely real, but uh, yeah. I'm ready um, to take it back to the Wisco. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Right? We're, let's ship it back to the Wisco. Right? Yes. I, I will give you a little bit of time on your break. I'm sure you want to yeah. walk around and enjoy, okay. but I so appreciate you taking the time. Thank and nice I wish you. I would just love, I'm saying, if you win 10K <laughs> like that, it's meant to be, it's meant to happen. Yes. I wish you all the luck in the world. Thank you so much. You guys are with us here on pokernews.com.